Namaskaram. Uh, I wanted to share my experience about BSP volunteering. So uh, last four days uh, I had the opportunity to attend BSP as a volunteer. So uh, I had attended the BSP program as a participant in uh, 2009. So it's been almost 13 years and uh, it was a very different experience for me. I just wanted to refresh the program, go through the program once more. And uh, it's since it has been such a long time. After that, after I did my program, I did volunteer a few times. But even that has been uh, at least four or five years ago. So I just thought that I should uh, use this opportunity to go through the program once more. So uh, I just landed here and uh, you know, we had about 180 participants and about uh, 28 volunteers. And I just thought that, you know, uh, I will see how I can go through the program fresh, but as a volunteer. So uh, for me in the last four days, uh, the way things have unfolded, it has been really wonderful. And uh, for me, uh, most importantly, when I came for this program, there were so many things uh, uh, within me which I you know wanted to break and I think I was struggling with that and when I came for BSP uh, for this volunteering process many of these things you know just have just fallen for example I remember whenever I've been volunteering for programs it has always been a struggle for me in terms of how to manage my practices along with the intense uh, program schedule I always uh, think about you know okay when will I uh, be able to get time for this practice and uh, you know maybe i'll uh, I have to wake up much earlier to finish this practice or i'll be sleeping late so so many things calculations will be going on and uh, so many times you know this leads to a little resistance saying that okay maybe because of this i'll have to break my schedule or i'll have to stop my practices like the way i've been doing so so many things like this uh, were there in my mind and when i just came for this program i just uh, decided that i'll use this program as an opportunity to break whatever limitations I am you know aware of at least which is there in my experience so in the last few days uh, what I saw is that there were so many things which you know came into my experience and when this uh, when this process started the BSP process started on the first day itself I just decided that whatever is given to me generally what happens is if, if I'm in a group of volunteers and if they assign any activity if they ask who wants to take up this activity I'll be kind of, you know, waiting, let them allocate some activity to me and uh, then, you know, I'll, I'll speak about, I'll, you know, I'll take it up. But this time I decided that I will see how to in increase my willingness in every aspect of the program. So whenever they were asking like, what, you know, who can take care of this, I would, you know, uh, I would be like, you know, first one to kind of raise my hand and say that, yes, I want to take part. So that's why this program was very different for me because I just try to see that how I can become willing as much as I could. So whenever there's an opportunity that, you know, uh, to, volunteer, uh, to volunteer in a particular activity, I was trying to see if how I can participate in that. And then I realized that such a simple thing and how I was holding myself back, trying to maybe think, calculate and see, okay, I don't know what this activity will be like or that. So this volunteering gave me an opportunity to break those things. And it's been after such a long time because uh, once uh, when, when, the, when this COVID happened, I didn't get an opportunity for a long time to do any program volunteering. So this was an opportunity to break those limitations. So that was something which fell, uh, you know, very easily. And uh, for me, in just two days time, I was like looking forward to doing uh, whatever activity was being allocated to me. And most importantly, generally when I do any BSP volunteering, BSP is one program which is uh, very intense in terms of the activities involved from right from, you know, morning 3.30 onwards till night almost 11 o'clock 11 o'clock 11 30 sometimes so it's like fully packed with uh, you know activities especially if you're doing your practices as well so i was uh, you know i was concerned you know how i'll be able to manage all these things but for me when i when i just decided that i'll be willing in whatever aspect the program offers and i'll see how to give myself to it suddenly i saw that i got i got so much more freedom to do things and it just fell in place for me so, uh, you know, even though I was sleeping by around uh, 11 o'clock or so, I was able to get up by around 3, finish off some practices before Guru Puja and get into the schedule. And uh, incidentally, what happened was uh, yesterday happened to be Ekadashi. It was the third day of BSP, which is considered as one of the most intense days because uh, of the kind of activities which is involved. And I've been keeping Ekadashi from last uh, more than 7-8 years. Continuously, I've been fasting. So, uh, you know, again, I was in a 
दिल मार थिंकिंग वगैरह शूड कीप अप देखा रहे फास्ट और आई जस्ट गिव इट अ ब्रेक फॉर टुमारो फॉर येस्टडे बिकॉज इट्स बी इट्स बी एस पी वॉलेंटरिंग सो आई थॉट मे बी आई कैन गिव इट अ ब्रेक बट समाओ यू नो आई फेल्ट दैट दिस एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मी टू ट्रांसेंड दोज लिमिटेशन एज वेल एंड ट्राई टू स्ट्रेच माई सेल्फ मोर सो येस्टडे एक्चुअली वॉज द डे वैन आई जनरली डू सूर्य शक्तिज आई जनरली डू हंड्रेड एंड एट सूर्य शक्तिज आफ्टर एवरी टू डेज सो येस्टडे हैपन टू बी एकादशी एंड ऑल्सो द डे वैन आई हैव टू डू हंड्रेड एंड एट सूर्य शक्तिज अकॉर्डिंग टू माई साधना स्केड्यूल सो बोथ दीज थिंग्स फेल ऑन द सेम डे एंड आई वॉज वंडरिंग वेदर आई बी एबल टू कीप कीप इट अप ऑन नॉट बट आई जस्ट थॉट यू लेट मी टेक इट स्टेप बाई स्टेप आई जस्ट स्किप ब्रेकफास्ट एंड यू नो एंड आई आई फिनिश माई हंड्रेड एंड एट सूर्य शक्तिज इन द मॉर्निंग एंड आफ्टर दैट आई फेल सो मच एनर्जी दैट यू नो आई वॉज जस्ट एबल टू गो थ्रू ऑल द एक्टिविटीज एफर्टलेसली देन वैन लंच टाइम केम अगेन आई फेल दे वॉज अ लिटिल डिप सो आई हैड सम हनी एंड आई टूक सम हनी एंड With that till light, I was able to survive. So by the end of the day, I was like surprised that how I went through so much activity, fasted, you know, uh, just with a little bit of honey, and also did my practices, and that left me, you know, thinking that how much, uh, how many limitations we create in our mind. So for me, it was like it was an eye opener that how this body can be stretched to its maximum. And uh, for the first time, I volunteered for BSP many times earlier. so it's been many years before and every time after bsp volunteering i felt like kind of tired and felt like okay i need to take a break it's been you know very hectic and i need to take a break for one or two days but today you know after the program ended it feels like as if i have not done anything it feels like i can go through another program once more and i can go through another bsp volunteering so this was the main difference for me which i felt was mainly because i was much more conscious and willing in whatever activity i was doing so just this fundamental part of being becoming willing in everything which is given to you this opened up so many things for me and uh, i feel this is the most important aspect that why sadguru wants all the programs to happen through volunteers it's not that he cannot do this work get this work, this work cannot be done by people otherwise but it's just that it's an opportunity for us to break our limitations so for me uh, you know uh, i want to see how i can use this opportunity more and more i have another one week of volunteering in the ashram before i go into silence so i am looking forward to that and i wish to come for many more programs because i just observe that though i was able to break many limitations there were so many things within me which i observed was showing up as resistance and i felt that i need to do more of volunteering just to see how i can become totally willing it's not that right now i am in a state where i am completely willing but still i was able to break through many things and see that there's so much more which i'm holding back and uh, there's always much more which i can contribute with so i would like to thank uh, uh, sadguru for giving me this opportunity to volunteer and i would like to thank all the volunteers for their uh, support and for all their uh, experiences and their encouragement which uh, you know made us go through this program and all the participants it was really wonderful i could even meet some of the participants uh, whom i have never met before they had come for the program to participate so it was really a wonderful experience and uh, i would only uh, say this that if you get an opportunity to volunteer for a program especially if you have gone through a uh, program as a participant and you felt that you were holding back or many things you were not alert about volunteering is an opportunity to go through it again and maybe experience something much more than what you experienced as a participant so this has been my experience volunteering and uh, i am just looking forward to see how i can do uh, volunteering for many more programs and see how i can become absolutely willing thank you so much namaskaram